everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Batman Begins. I'm Batman. Stop, stop, whoa, 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 Tony. Come on, you're reviewing Batman Returns. Batman Returns. What the hell, Tony? Come on, man. So yes, Batman Begins is directed by Tim Burton. The film stars Michael Keaton, Michelle Pfeiffer, Danny DeVito, and Christopher Walken. So this movie is about when Batman needs to stop this businessman and the Penguin from taking over Gotham City from their evil plan. Meanwhile, Catwoman is doing her own thing in this movie. And yeah, that's honestly all you need to know for the plot. So before I review Batman Returns, my guest star Sir Ty Jensen is going to be reviewing this movie with me. He reviewed the 1989 Batman movie with me, and he's back to review Batman Returns with me. Oh, now you got the title right. Sheesh, it's about damn time. And I really appreciate him for taking the time to do that. So Sir Ty Jensen, take it away. I'm Batman. Swear to me. Thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for the invite. I would like to talk about Batman Returns, starring Michael Keaton, Danny DeVito, and Michelle Pfeiffer. Gotham is being threatened by a mysterious outsider called Penguin, and Batman has a new love interest named Catwoman. I'm a lifelong huge Batman fan. Yes, he's my favorite superhero. When I was a kid, I owned the movies, I overwatched them. Batman Forever was my favorite. I still love it now. Nostalgia is a huge reason. Christian Bell is my favorite Batman, followed by Michael Keaton. I have faith in Ben Affleck. I'm sure a lot of people do. I got an Xbox 360 last year, but I have yet to play the Arkham games. Tim Burton directed Batman and Batman Returns. Batman was a monster hit. Tim agreed to direct this only if he were given complete creative control. This movie was really risky. Batman Returns is a decent movie. It's too dark, more adult, bizarre, depressing, and violent. It's certainly not child friendly or not completely. Michael Keaton is still good as Batman. His performance is somewhat different, he's more casual. He makes a few dumb faces and he talks to himself a few times. Michael was imitating himself. He wasn't sure how to portray the, the same character twice. I know it's weird. Batman is still badass, he's still ruthless. Some people were disappointed he kills people. I honestly don't mind it. Some heroes have to evolve and not every hero is a nice guy. I'll never forget Batman's sadistic smile. He can easily be a villain. Danny DeVito kills it as a penguin. He's very different from his comic book counterpart. He's an angry deformed misfit who wants to join society. His parents abandoned him when he was a baby. He's lived in the sewers his whole life. He sure looks scary. He's got a lot of kids. My mom told me he scared me when I was a kid. Michelle Pfeiffer is great as Catwoman and Selena Kyle. Selena is a mix of secretary working for a ruthless mogul named Max Shrek. Max kills Selena. However, she's not dead for long. Cats revive her. She becomes a cat-like person. She becomes crazy. She wants to kill Max, and she gets a crush on Batman. Catwoman is a morally great character. You don't know if she's good or bad. She's truly more interesting than Anne Hathaway's Catwoman. Like the first movie, Batman Returns is dark and goofy. The villains are over the top. These movies aren't meant to be taken seriously. There are things that don't make any sense. Penguin's deformity is never explained. Well, there doesn't need to be an explanation. Maybe he was deformed by toxic waste. A lot of people feel Batman Forever started the campy trend, the bad one-liners. Well, actually, Batman Returns started this trend because there were a few bad one-liners like E4. As you know, Catwoman has a crush on Batman. Coincidentally, Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle start a relationship or they try to, based on the events of the movie. Oddly enough, in Batman Forever, Bruce claims he's never been in love before. The first movie is Joker-heavy. This movie focuses more on the villains, however, Batman has more screen time than the first movie. I'm sure some people were disappointed by this. I feel it's a minor flaw. Tim Burton's reasoning was, Batman is secretive, he likes to stay in the shadows. The Nolan trilogy focuses more on Batman. Maybe talking about the action is pointless, don't worry, I'll be quick. This movie lacks action, which is fine. The action is good for the most part. The climax is okay. It's anticlimactic. Batman easily kicks Penguin's ass. 
Batman Returns, get to see. It's a decent movie. It's more for adults than for kids. If it wasn't so dark, I'm sure Tim Burton would have made one more Batman movie. Let me know what you thought of Batman Returns. Did you like it or hate it? As always, thanks for watching, guys. Again, thanks for the invite, 22 Tiger Dude. I'm excited for Batman v Superman. I'll talk to you later. Thank you, Sir Ty Jensen, for reviewing Batman Returns. Oh, I'm Batman. Okay, guys, I'll call it with the Batman voice now. So if you guys have seen my review for Batman 1989, I actually thought that movie was great. I had a lot of fun with that movie. I thought it was awesome. Tim Burton did a great job directing that film. And so with Batman Returns, I was just hoping it could be a lot of fun, like with the first film. And unfortunately, Batman Returns is a huge, huge disappointment. I did not think this movie was that good. Is it bad? No. It's not a bad movie, but it's just a very forgettable, mediocre, bland movie. But of course there's positives with this movie, and one of those positives is that Michael Keaton, just like with the first film, he did a fantastic job as Bruce Wayne slash Batman. You could tell that he's just having a lot of fun in this role and you can clearly see it And Batman Returns. He's definitely one of the best parts about Batman Returns. So Michael Keaton, he's still really great here. I think I'm going to mispronounce his name. Michael Gough. Michael Gogg. He plays Alfred in this film like with the first film. He's still very good as Alfred. I thought Michelle Pfeiffer was decent as Catwoman. And I thought Danny DeVito, he was really great as the Penguin. He really transforms into this character. Like you don't see Danny DeVito here. You actually do see the Penguin because of the makeup and the sinister evil voice that he uses. Danny DeVito just did a very great job here. By far, one of the best parts about Batman Returns, in my opinion. And then Christopher Walken, he does do a good job as the businessman in this film. Batman Returns has beautiful cinematography. Visually, the movie is pretty breathtaking to look at, if I have to be honest. Because this movie does take place around the Christmas time. So yeah, you can enjoy a Batman movie in the Christmas time. The movie is very well directed by Tim Burton. Despite the script being a mess, Tim Burton's direction wasn't. I still felt like even with the script Tim Burton had to work with, he did a very nice job directing Batman Returns. It feels smooth and natural, and a lot of the shots Tim Burton uses for Batman Returns just looks really great. Of course, you can't have a Batman movie directed by Tim Burton without Danny Elfman's score. Danny Elfman did a terrific job composing the score for Batman Returns, just like what he did with Batman 1989. The score really fit for this world so well. It sounds so beautiful. Even when the score is playing during a scene that isn't executed very well, it still fits for even a choppily um, executed scene, I guess you could say. But Danny Elfman's score is definitely one of the highlights when it comes to Batman Returns. You just can't go wrong with a genius like him. So Danny Elfman, just awesome job, good sir. Like I said with Danny DeVito, he did a great job as the Penguin. And the Penguin character himself, I definitely really enjoyed. For the most part, I really enjoyed the Penguin because he was so dark, sinister. Even there were times that I was actually quite intimidated by the Penguin. You could just tell Danny DeVito had a lot of fun with the Penguin. And the last positive I had for Batman Returns is the penguins. Like the penguins that work with the penguin. They are just so adorable. I just can't help but smile whenever those penguins would pop up on screen. The things that they would do just to serve for the penguin, you know, it was just so adorable and I'd get so happy when it comes to those penguins. Now, my problems with Batman Returns is that the script 
does feel very jumbled. The movie does go all over the place and it doesn't really know when to really balance itself. The tone for the movie is very inconsistent as well. The movie goes from being silly and over the top and then the next scene it tries to be all dark and then it becomes funny and silly again and then dark all of a sudden. So it does go all over the place with its tone. Not to mention there's this one unnecessary scene where the penguin bites off a guy's nose. Really? Was there a point for that? Like was there seriously a point for that to happen? Yeah, that was just not necessary to me. Michelle Pfeiffer's decent as Catwoman, and the reason that she's decent is because the character herself was just really over the top. She wasn't very interesting. Now granted, I'll give her this. She's better than Halle Berry's Catwoman, but Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman was just very over the top. Couldn't get into her character. She just wasn't interesting. Before she was Catwoman, I thought Michelle Pfeiffer actually did a really good job. But once she became Catwoman, unfortunately her performance isn't as great. And I don't really blame her for having just a decent performance. It's really what the script gave her that just made her performance very decent. There's this unnecessary romance plot with Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle. Those scenes, whenever Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle are together, I didn't see any point in them. I just saw them as filler, and it only made me miss Kim Bossinger in the first Batman movie, because I really liked her in Batman, and just seeing Selena Kyle, Bruce Wayne, and this very bland and uninteresting romance plot, it just made me miss her, to be honest. Christopher Walken was good here as this businessman, the businessman that works with the Penguin. I really liked seeing him. He gave a good performance. He was very entertained for what he had, but his character didn't really serve any purpose to the movie. In fact, his character was pointless. You could actually take out Christopher Walken and this movie would be no different. The fight scenes, unfortunately, aren't even that entertaining in this film too, as I did feel like the choreography just felt very sloppy and the sound mixing, even into the choreography, didn't really sound good either. And then the last problem I did have with Batman Returns is that the finale did feel rushed. Obviously, we go to the finale where Batman has to stop Penguin, and there really isn't much to the finale because not only is it rushed with its pacing, but how it's executed it does come off very underwhelming. I mean, literally, Batman has a one minute or less possible fight scene with the penguin. After that, he just finishes off the penguin like nothing. Batman Returns is a letdown. It's not bad, but it's just very mediocre and very forgettable. Like I said, it's inconsistent with its tone. Storyline really isn't all that great. Didn't really care for Catwoman. Christopher Walken was very wasted here, and even the choreography just wasn't that great. I did really like the ending to this, however. That's one thing I forgot to mention in my positives. I do feel like this movie ended on a very nice note, but pretty much everything else about this movie, while it has some good to it, it is very underwhelming, to be honest. So, I am going to have to give Batman Returns 2 out of 4 stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Batman Returns. And I would also love to thank Sir Ty Jensen for coming here to review Batman Returns with me. He's a very nice guy, you guys. He has a very cool channel. So if you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!